It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Ever wondered what it would be like to be king or queen or president of your own country? Here are some people who found out. In 930 AD, the Viking explorer Leif Erikson discovered some Caribbean island he mistook for remnants of the lost continent of Atlantis. In 1934, a Danish sea captain named J.L. Mott, claiming to be Erikson's descendant, declared himself the rightful heir to the islands, which he could not locate but believed in his words were somewhere near Panama. He drafted a one-page constitution for the new country of Atlantis and began issuing passports and triangular-shaped postage stamps, which the International Postal Union refused to recognize. Then, in 1936, Mott was almost arrested for trying to enter the U.S. using an Atlantis passport. By 1954, the elusive country had been renamed the Empire of Atlantis and Lemuria. Despite the country's fancy name, however, all attempts to actually locate it have failed. In the 1970s, Andrew Richardson, a postal worker from Liverpool, declared his semi-detached flat to be the independent nation of Granbia. The rest of the building remained part of the United Kingdom. The aftermath? He lost interest, and the apartment reverted to England by default. In 1964, Lester Hemingway, the little brother of Ernest, built an 8x30 floating bamboo platform seven miles off the coast of Jamaica, anchoring it to the ocean floor with a Ford engine block. He bragged to reporters, I can stand on the platform, walk around on it, and salute the flag, all of which I do periodically. There are no taxes here, because taxes are for people not smart enough to start their own countries. At any rate, his idea of a proposed country, New Atlantis, fell through. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.